Hello everyone, my name is Clementine, welcome back to Clementine Creative and I'm back with another video. Um, and also I'm Clementine, did I mention that? I don't know. <laughs> I think I mentioned that in every video. Um, I'm back with part two in the behind the, ser uh, behind the, behind the concept art job video thing. The vid I'm continuing the video from two weeks ago, okay? Okay, I'm just painting, chill. <laughs> uh, I'm having a hard time here pronouncing some of these words, some of these sentences, not just words, sentences even. Um, but basically, let's just, I'm gonna just tell you exactly what I wanna say so I don't have some weird things going through my head like, what should I say? What should I not say? Basically, the reason why there was no video last week, week, yes, last week, because I went to my, uh, to my parents' house. Is that what it's called? My mom and dad's house where I just went to visit them and helped out a little bit. Um, and I didn't have time to finish this one uh, for the weekend. Uh, so what I did was basic. Well, actually I went on Thursday and I came back on Saturday and I don't work on weekends usually. And I want to just chill. Uh, although I did do some work. Um, but basically I finished this project on Tuesday, which is the, you know, it takes five around five days uh, to finish this kind of a painting five days and each day around four hours of work. I never do more than four hours. It's very hard to keep doing one and the same thing or one and the same painting the entire time. It actually is very tiring. Uh, and you know, this is not just painting. This is also designing. And designing is something that really takes your, your energy away. You just feel so tired. Uh, doing, you know, a lot of work in one day, uh, kind of designing work is very hard like, uh, this is not just painting, like I said before, where if sometimes when I do character concepts, I just paint and it's much easier to finish a character in two days or one day than an entire environment concept. I mean, first of all, there are differences in shapes. The environment is organic and it has so many different shapes. Uh, while character really does have quite a limited amount of things and if you keep practicing you will eventually already know how to paint it better I haven't been painting environments for a very long time either So there's you know a lot of factors involved uh, again. I'm very new to Environment concept art or this is not even concept art. Uh, this is uh, production painting, I guess uh, uh, I guess in this case, it's not really a production painting considering it's not gonna be used for production This is the actual product um, so I guess now I'm painting an artwork, <laughs> not really a design, uh, but again, all of these can get changed. Uh, it's all digital, so really no big deal whenever we decide to change. And they're pretty good quality too, which enables us to use them individually as uh, promotional pieces, you know, or as an entire map. So you can see that violet area over there, which has the graveyard. That's the different part of a map that I also painted now. That part you will be able to actually see in some of the snippets uh, when I go and try to throw this area in or try to take some of uh, some of the elements out uh, from different areas. Um, I painted two so far, there's seven of them, which means we have four more to go, right? Yeah, I think my math is right. Um, yeah, three plus four is definitely seven. So we got seven of these wellies, and if you're interested in the game, or now I can actually tell you more, and I think I should stop blabbering about myself here. And I think I should actually tell you a little bit more about the game. The actual promotional video though will come out later. Uh, I want to make it so that I finish everything. Uh, that'll be somewhere in March, maybe. Maybe in March, April, God knows. I don't know, but when it comes out, you'll know it's coming out. Uh, the title of this game is oh and before i just tell you here you can see how i skipped that that's not because i copied something that's because i was spending quite a lot of time designing that dam over there and it it's basically ridiculous jibber jabber just me painting in these details okay i didn't want to you know spend time just you showing you this crap because it'll take ages before this video would be over if you know, if i want to keep it at decent speed uh, but you can see here how i basically painted the dam the same way i'm doing now this uh uh, sort of a tower uh, But now I'm gonna leave you to watch that whatever it is that you're gonna see That's how it looks like anything that's been skipped has been skipped purely so that you can uh, you know You're not looking watching this video for like 30 minutes. Okay um, So basically this game is called tide quest uh, It's an RPG game basically quests. It has lore 
uh, it has enemies, you guys got fighting, and it's it's a game that you play with your friends and no internet connection needed because it's a board game. Um, that's right, it's a board game. Uh, what I like about this game the most uh, is the fact that it's uh, not a computer game. We get so many computer games with great graphics these days that sometimes we forget to maybe play video, not games, huh, video games. You see that? You see what's happening? We even forget they're called board games. We call them video games. I call them video games. Uh, we forget that we don't play board games a lot and it, this has seriously become not a problem I'm not trying to be one of those people who's like, oh, this is a serious problem You know what people should play as much video games as they want But sometimes, you know, some video games you can be played online or some friends don't have some games uh, And sometimes you need these board games where all of your friends can just sit down around the table Throw some of these lower cards. This game includes cards and different things um Again, you will see more in the promotional video there. You'll have the entire product probably shown too. Um, again, you know, I feel like we have a lot of these games and then none of these deliver basically traditional style, of, which is board game. And the funny thing really is that we started to make board games online. You don't even have to have a board game anymore. You just go online and you can play uh, chess or whatever, you know. And chess, I'm not really sure if that's considered a board game. It's a sports. Um, Anyways, I mean, you know, going to the gym, lifting them weights, uh, because I'm a professional chess player. Uh, but no, for, I'm not trying to insult anyone who likes chess. Um, but this board game, I feel like it's an interesting idea because I like the fact that we're going to use new graphics in a really beautiful environment combined with the elements of board game. It has, it's going to have fields. You're going to put on your little figurines. Uh, and I really think that's, uh, that's really, oh look, somebody commented something on YouTube. 45 to 50 kilograms is really light. You see that? Now we're gonna deal with weight. I actually have no idea what this is about. We'll see, we'll read it later. Uh, anyways, uh, I like the fact that we have new graphics on a board game. I feel like all these board games are very simple. Um, you know, usually like, I mean, you got Dungeons and Dragons and people make their own maps and it's some amazing things, but, uh, and there's board games out there that have amazing stuff. Um, but the difference between this one is the fact that it's going to be much easier to pick up uh, and just go and play, you know, you won't have to learn that many rules, it's going to be much easier, or at least that's what I've heard, I hope, they, I ho I hope that's, that's what it is. Uh, I'm not involved too much in the actual gameplay process, that is not my thing, uh, although I do have some ideas for certain parts of the gameplay style. I definitely am not the one that should be, you know, developing this. So I'm really the visual guy here. That's my specialties, and that's what I basically contribute to this project. Uh, however, we do share opinions amongst each other. In fact, the authors of this uh, project are super, super chill. They're like the big, biggest geeks ever. Like, I don't know, it's really nice. Like, people like that are really cool uh, because... You know, some people are stuck up, and I don't like that kind of people. But, you know, those two are really great. You always, every time they come here, um, where I work, where I do my work, uh, is definitely a nice little conversation that we have. Like, usually about movies, video games, anime, you know, things like that. And it's always fun. So, yeah. Uh, I think this, uh, uh, again, opens a opportunity or, uh, or a way or, or, well, I don't know how it's called. It's a saying that I can't really come. I can not, not come up with it. I can't really think of it right now. Uh, but basically, I think this is a great opportunity for playing something that's visually appealing, even to the to the basically younger generations, uh, and still has the feeling of a board game because it is an actual board game. Um, and this map is going to be huge, right? This is not like a small. Um, I don't know, one meter map little board game okay this is going to be much bigger um the reason for that being because we want to have a lot a, a big a big area basically a big map and just so you get a little bit of perspective of course these these are not gonna apply but one of these zones that you see now one of these things that i'm painting is one meter big so just one of these is one meter big and the reason why i'm doing this why the width is one meter is because of the quality um this is like completely side noted like not at all connected to the actual game whenever you make a painting just try to make it as big as your computer can handle uh of course don't go too big it's there's no point in making it like five meters long <laughs> you know no need um but if you can make it as big as you can 
uh, as much as your computer can handle, you want that good quality. You know, you can always expand it, put it on a wall or like as a poster or, you know, you don't have that shitty resolution thing going on. Um, and again, uh, this is a really great for projects such as a board game where we can take the entire map, put it on the box, make posters, make individual areas, you know. Uh, and that, I think, is kind of interesting. I really think that would be cool. Another concept that I thought would be cool for this game, which is... Uh, this is just something I'm throwing out there that... that actually, I don't want to throw this out there because if this is something that might happen, I don't want to... I don't want... I'm not, I'm not going to tell you anything. I, I can't. I can't. These ideas have to be a little bit secretive, uh, at least for now. Um, but yeah, basically, now you're seeing how this process goes. Again, you can see how fast it is. Uh, and this is, I'm, I swear to God, I try to make it as short as possible. Um, and it just goes super fast, you know. Uh, I, I bet you can't even really analyze anything from here. This is just really me more showcasing how good I am at painting. Uh, or slash how bad I am at painting um, environments. Depends on how you see it. Depends, it. depends if you're a pessimist or an optimist. I'm an optimist. I think I'm, I think of how, I think I'm showcasing how good I am at painting. Uh, While well, some people might uh, showcase how bad I are at painting. <laughs> Oh god, I'm one of those people that said for the for who the glass is half full, not half empty. Um, but again, uh, if you, I love how I use the 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 verbal expression, then again, or or and again, and again, yeah, not then, <laughs> and again. That's what I do, and again. And again, like I say that all the time, I feel like you can make a counter just end again, and you can make a shot game out of it. Like you just drink shots whenever I say end again. Um, but let's go a little bit more serious. Now, if you want to see this process of painting environments a little bit slower where you can analyze my techniques, maybe see what I, what I see, uh, maybe even do a tutorial on an environment painting, tell me in the comment section below and I will make a video on because I got like four more zones to paint so I got material you don't have to worry about that uh, all I need you guys to do is to comment what you want to see maybe what uh, what if you have any answers uh, answers if you have any answers I'll post you questions <laughs> I'm such a dumbass sometimes I'm being a silly bitch if you have any questions that you want answered tell me Anything that has to do with how to do something in Photoshop. I know Photoshop really well. I can help you around that. Even Illustrator, I even use that. Um, uh, then how to, you know, how to draw if you know, or have any drawing tips, material, material, yeah, material tips, uh, you know, tools, anything like that. And again, I don't usually do videos on tools. I wouldn't do them because I don't think tools are necessary, but I can definitely do a video on tools that I use. Uh, because I know some people, and I know it brings you a little bit of a closure if you're using the same thing as an um, artist that you admire, uh, I guess, uses. Um, sort of brings, you feel like you're doing better. Uh, I get it because I had that kind of a moment in my life as well, uh, where I watched Mark Burnett videos and I, no, not Mark Burnett videos, Mark Crawley's videos, man, too many Marks inspiring me. Uh, Mark Burnett's videos were, ah, Mark, <laughs> Mark Crawley, god damn it. Mark Burnett is uh, is uh, in my mind right now, just chilling with his bald head, <laughs> trying to get in my video here. Uh, no, Mark Crawley is the person who I watched a lot on the internet on how to draw manga and such, and really helped me with the basics in traditional drawing. Uh, Mark Burnett helped me a lot with digital, so I really had like Mark's. If you can get a teacher, his name should be Mark, because I'm pretty sure there's something there, you know. Um, and also Mark Burnett owns a YouTube channel called Cube Brush. You should check that channel out because it's really good. And Mark Crawley's channel, which is a drawing channel for manga. You should check both those channels out. Uh, I will link them in the description if I remember, which I probably won't. So no hard feelings, eh? Eh? No hard feelings, eh? Uh, but yeah, again, I feel like this is an interest. You hear that? You hear that? How I said, and again, I'm... S I use that word so much, or that those two words in particular. Um, I feel like this will be a great game or a great board game to explore, hopefully. Um, at least visually, you can just put it on your wall if you won't like the actual gameplay. I'm, I love how I'm slandering the game before it's even released. Like, the, I'm the wor I would be the worst in developing. I would be like, yeah, hey guys, this is a shitty project. But <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's an awesome project. You should buy this game on Kickstarter when it comes out. <laughs> But this is basically the finished area. 
Uh, again, I'm just gonna say this again. The project is good. I'm not trying to slander the thing. It is good. I think you're gonna enjoy the actual gameplay as well. Um, but yeah, here's the finished part of the map. The entire map is much bigger. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, which was very, very long, considering 14 minutes, ah, 16 minutes. Um, but again, uh, I hope that it, at least it got some idea of how I do environments, and this is basically the final result. Again, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate all of the support. If you have any questions, leave the comments, leave them in the comments, and I'll be back with another one next week. Bye. But remember, the perspective always resets itself. If you look here on the bottom where the mine wall is, there's a perspective kind of a square, and if you go on.